Today, I'm going to share with you seven strategies to help you get a top LSAT score, even if you have ADHD. For those who don't know me, my name is Steve Schwartz. I've been teaching the LSAT since 2005, and I personally increased my own LSAT score from a 152 to a 175. Now, over the years I've been teaching the LSAT, I've discovered that implementing the appropriate structure is essential to helping you get a top LSAT score. If you can remove the guesswork about what to do and when, and you can create an environment such that you have no choice but to study for the LSAT, you'll be setting yourself on the path to success. And so creating a structured study environment is essential to getting that time invested in your LSAT prep, making sure that you're putting in the time. So the more that you can create a distraction-free area, solely devoted to your LSAT prep exclusively, the more likely you'll be to actually put in that time. And this is one reason that at LSAT Unplugged, we create personalized day-by-day -day study plans for all of our students laying out exactly what to do every single day over the course of your prep, whether you're taking the LSAT in one month, in three months, in six months, or beyond, we lay it down to the day because if we can remove the barrier of not knowing what to do, we can then get you into actually doing concrete LSAT prep, going over actual LSAT questions that much faster. I've also found that a lot of prep courses and classes that are three, four hours just aren't oriented to the needs of ADHD students in particular. And so I found that shorter more frequent study sessions can be a lot easier to handle to avoid getting fatigued, to avoid zoning things out, and instead actually getting the value out of the time that you're sitting there. One strategy I found a lot of students have success with is the Pomodoro technique, where you set a timer for 25 minutes of focused study. Then and only then after the 25 minutes are up, you get a short five minute break, but you're setting guardrails around the distractions. And so of course you need to have the discipline to obey what the timer is saying. But if you can, if you can focus for that period, and then you know the reward of the break is coming up, that may help you focus that much more during the study period that you've set out for yourself. And I also unplugged. One thing we do is we have, rather than conducting one or two classes a week of three or four hours in length, we have shorter classes of only one hour five days a week along with an optional study session before class for a more informal collaborative setting of course they're all recorded for any that you can't make but we found that shorter study periods shorter class periods maintain attention and focus especially after a long day of work or school or family obligations if you're interested in finding out more about joining our programs you can check out the links below to book a call with me and my team we'd be glad to help you out now, this third strategy is to consider, I mentioned earlier, that you have shorter study periods, 25 minutes of work, five minutes of break, and you might be thinking to yourself, but Steve, the LSAT is longer. The LSAT is four 35-minute sections with only a 10-minute break between sections two and three. And yes, that is true. However, as a student with ADHD, if that's something you've been diagnosed with or you can get diagnosed with based on your conditions or symptoms, you can then get unlimited stop-start breaks for the duration of your test. And so you could actually allow yourself 25-minute work periods and 5-minute break periods during your actual official LSAT sitting. LSAC used to be far too strict in granting accommodations, but since then, they've been sued several times. The pendulum has swung the other direction, and it's now easier than ever to get accommodations for a condition like ADHD. All you need to do is get a note from a qualified professional like a doctor or psychiatrist and write a brief statement of need explaining why you need the accommodations. You can get unlimited stop start breaks, like I said. You can get time and a half, increasing your LSAT section length from 35 minutes to 53 minutes or even double time with 70 minutes per section or beyond. Of course, LSAC is strict about deadlines for which you need to apply for accommodations, but it's certainly worth seeking out. And so that's why this is the recommendation number three for students with ADHD. Now, my fourth strategy or recommendation here is to 
incorporate movement into your studying. So consider studying while you're walking or while you're standing. You can get a stand sit desk, you can get a treadmill desk, or you can just get up from your chair and walk around a little bit during your short breaks from studying. This change of environment can help getting the blood flowing can help a little bit. And that might help you reset your concentration by getting those short breaks of physical activity while you're sitting doing LSAT questions for a couple of hours during a study session, for example. My fifth strategy here is to incorporate mindfulness or relaxation techniques to build your muscle of control, to build your muscle of attention. In this year, in 2024, 2025, we've all been habituated to short attention spans with social media, in constant access to the internet. And so we need our muscles of attention may be weakened as a result of all of that. And so if you can disengage from the short bite-sized bursts of attention, the short bite-sized dopamine hits, and instead build the muscle of increasing your attention by, for example, focusing on your breath, engaging in deep breathing exercises, that can help a lot when your mind is wandering during the test. If you can just practice mindfulness, meditation, focus on your breath for as little as three, five minutes a day, even over the course of a couple of weeks, you would be amazed at the extent to which you can build that muscle of attention, increase your focus. This can be really helpful during the actual timed exam when your mind is wandering during a difficult question. If you can notice that it's happening, the sooner the better, and bring your attention back to the breath back to the question in front of you, you'll be that much better situated to get through the exam. Now, my sixth recommendation here, my sixth strategy here for you is to adapt your study materials to suit your personal learning style. If you don't do well studying on the computer, maybe you wanna study out of textbooks or take notes in a physical notebook rather than in an app or in a Google Doc, for example. Some students love to use binders with a color coding system to highlight key information to orient your LSAT study plan, or you might wanna use an app or a tool that is gonna make LSAT prep more engaging. I found that a lot of students have difficulty focusing on self-study using just the textbooks. A lot of these 500 page LSAT phone books are to be frank, just really, really boring. And so more interactive learning strategies like Zoom classes or one-on-one -on -one coaching can be really, really helpful to keep you engaged because they're interactive. There's another person or people on the other end of the call, keeping you focused, asking you questions, keeping you engaged in your prep. And to that point, my seventh and final strategy here is to consider seeking professional support with someone who has experience working with students who have accommodations like unlimited stop start breaks or extra time or what have you. And so if you are having difficulty going it alone, if you're finding that the traditional LSAT prep courses and apps just are not serving you, consider alternative approaches focused on students with your learning differences or other unique needs. At Elston Unplugged, we have several different coaches who could help you out who have experience working with students in these situations. Again, if you're interested in finding out more, we'd be glad to help. We offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, live small group classes, and on-demand video courses. Check out the links below to book a call with me and my team. We'd be glad to help you out. And in the meantime, I'll wish you all the best and take care.